Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? I finally got a chance to get around and do this video for you guys. Out of everything that's been going on, Black Friday deals, Thanksgiving meals, cheap product steals, all the giveaways and all that stuff. Come on, y'all. I can't forget about the fam. You know, it's been a really interesting weekend especially since Black Friday was yesterday. And you guys have been asking me to do a what's on my iPad for music production. So today is the day that I show you guys what's on my iPad, what I use for my music production apps, from audio units to interapp audios to effects plugins. So let's go ahead and jump into that. So since this is Black Friday weekend and we know that Cyber Monday is approaching like fast, these are some apps that you should like really keep an eye out for for some discounts. And actually somebody in our family, somebody in the comments, let us know where you can find some deals on iOS apps and when they go on discount. Um, he put a link in the description. I'll go ahead and copy that link, throw it in the description of this video. So go ahead and check that out too. All right, jumping into it, we're going to go into my, um, so down here in my dock, I have, um, you can see Beatmaker 3, Audio Share. I have Audio Bus here, Blocks Wave, Rolly Noise app. And I have a, you know, a Luma Fusion for editing these, these videos that I put up on YouTube. Um, so we're just going to go into my uh, music uh, folder. So the first app I have in here is uh, Poison 202. Um, that's one of my go-to uh, synthesizers for like basses and um, leads, especially when doing like R&B tracks. I, I, I usually like to use the leads in, inside of there. Um, there's some really nice leads and some, some really cool pads. Poison 202 is, is, is definitely a must have. The next app I have is a uh, audio unit pl uh, plugin that I have called Pump House. And this is used for like side chain compression. You can control like the attack, the re uh, release of the side chain compression, um, and how, how you know sensitive it is as far as like, you know, kind of pulsates if you're into like EDM or, um, you know, like that, like, the app says like pump house type music um you can set your um you can set your patterns to you know pulsate or you know um do a side chain compression effect within your daw or you know or what, whatever plugin that you apply this to core gadget is the next app uh, it's really dope um, a lot of people use it as a their go-to daw um i don't really like the sequencer in here so i just use it as a um audio unit i mean not an audio unit plugin but like a um a sound module and it has like a bunch of like it says gadgets it has a bunch of instruments in here and it it, it the, the whole bundle costs 40 bucks um and there are some additional there are some additional instruments in here that you can pay for um and app purchases um highest i've seen so far is just like ten dollars uh for the instrument um tons and tons of sounds every every instrument has its own set of banks um so i absolutely love core gadget this is like one of my go-to for every, pretty much every track that i make probably has core gadget inside you got some amazing amazing sounds so i have like some preset sounds in here i usually just use chord gadget as a um inter app audio um and i just record the audio from chord gadget into beatmaker 3 or whatever doll i'm using at the time like blocks wave or whatever it is that i'm going to use chord gadget is definitely a must-have then we got Fly Tape by our family over there in MSX Audio, MSX Sounds. My guy M Simp over there, um, that's family. And what this does is, um, is you get the tape stop effect and you can, you know, um, add lo-fi real time um, effects, audio unit effects that you can go on here. So you can um, stutter your, your track as it's looping. You have different loop effects and you have a lo-fi effect that you can press down and hold. It's, this is this is pretty dope. I love this. The next app we have, I haven't really used it as much. Actually, I have only used it like maybe twice. This is a uh, Voloco, and it's like a auto tune app for vocals and um, yeah, it's just like vocal samples that you want to put in. Um, I just have to use that more to to be able to talk about it more. So um, yeah, I have the X key piano. Um, I use this to set up my X key air. 
Um, if I want to change some param parameters inside of my uh, Bluetooth MIDI keyboard, this is the app that I use. Um, actually, no, this is the app that I use, X Key Plus. If I want to change like the velocity curves and assign different keys to do different th different things, um, the X Key Piano was just a uh, a sampler just to you know sample. Uh, the latency and stuff like that for for me anyways but yeah x x key the cme orvion i've i've done a video on this i've done a video on this and uh showed you guys a few things this can also act as a um midi controller to any doll that you that you um that you want to control your midi from also i have uh centronic I love this synthesizer because it has so many, like just like Core Gadget, it has so many different instruments that I can pull from their sound modules, and uh, they have so many different categories per instrument that you know you can never really run out of sounds with these. But yeah, you can never really run out of sounds with with this uh, synthesizer app. You have so many um, sound modules to pull from, and then you can go in and uh, tweak the master and the pan and stuff like that from within the app. And then you got your, um, you know, effects channel strips and different banks of effects. So that's a really dope app to uh, to use. I use that for mostly like I use it for my pads. If you want like lush pads. I have audio effects by, I believe this is by Clef Grand. This is an audio unit effect that I, you know, usually use within my uh, uh, Beatmaker 3 or, you know, you can use this in pretty much any any DAW that you have, but you have a, a tons of different effects that you can throw on it. You have the, you have the drive, delay, chorus, you have a phaser, a EQ, you have your reverb. Uh, a flanger you can add your different effects like that next up we have Xeon Xeon is an amazing uh, synthesizer app too I use Xeon for a lot of bass sounds um, but again Xeon has tons of tons of, uh, of sound modules in here that you can tweak some amazing pads in here some some dope leads too, and then we you can see when I tap on the uh, the categories at the bottom that they highlight those uh, those instruments of that type. Let's check that out. So that's a drum type of uh, sound. You want pads? It highlights all the pads. In your in your library, so many so many sounds inside of uh, Xeon. So many dope sounds. Nice. Here I have synth the uh, synth master uh, plugin. Synth master is pretty dope too. You got your um, pretty unique uh, control panel here. Control that. You can control all this stuff real time actually and then you can use your MIDI uh, you can use your MIDI controller to, to um, assign to these maps and stuff like that these this this is pretty dope and the libraries in here are pretty nice too so that's synth master layer is another one of my go-to uh, plugins for for just raw sounds stuff that I know I can tweak easily. There are tons of banks that you can download from inside of Layer. With Layer, you can actually, um, <laughs> a lot of these, a lot of these uh, software instruments, they uh, they have the, the functionality within the name, but with Layer, you can actually uh, layer sounds on top of each other. Um, so if you have like a, um, So you can you can actually layer two sounds together if you wanted to so next I have the uh, motive audio uh, app and I use that with my sure mv88 microphone a microphone that I showed you in my uh, what's in my bag video it's a free app that comes with the short mv88 that allows you to manipulate the um, the input of your samples when you're recording with the Shure MV88 microphone. 
that I showed you guys in my what's in my bag video um, yeah make sure you check that out studio mucks and um, I have studio mucks I had audio mucks but I don't I don't really use either too much anymore I don't really use them that much anymore because I just stopped trying to attempt to um, use the app um, but what it does is, is it sends and receives MIDI um, information uh, to and from your iPad to your laptop or vice versa plug your your iPad into your laptop as if you were you know going to charge it up or update it or something like that. it will send MIDI data and audio straight into your uh, DAW using the plugin that you download for the Studio Mux plug plugin that you download for your DAW for the laptop. Neo Soul Keys, I just downloaded this um, about maybe two or three weeks ago, and these are some really good sounding um, keys on here, man. Um, you have uh, Clav, EPs, Yamaha, EX5 series. You, yeah, it's just it's, it's these are some really if you need some. R&B Soul Keys, this is definitely a must have. The next three I have um, is from Future Sonic. Our friends over at Future Sonic uh, sent me these uh, to check out and these are some really dope, dope uh, audio unit plugins that you can use to get some really spacious sounds and I'll do a review on those pretty soon. So you have the uh, Future Sonic Freeze Verb. You have the Reverser Delay, which is a crazy like this. That's a crazy. Uh, that's a crazy audio unit plugin and the uh, Future Sonic Refractor. But these are some really really dope apps to use, um, and they give some really good visuals on what's actually happening to your sound waves as, as you as you uh, manipulate them. Um, so what this does is. Uh, it actually freezes the last notes that you that you have have going on. It freezes that um, that sustain that you that you just did. Reverser delay is a crazy effect, and and I want to say these are almost reminiscent to like a a, a you know a, an effect that you might hear on some Omnisphere uh, plugins. So this bundle um, paired with like something like layer or um you know uh centronic would be crazy or even even uh core gadget um sounds with this is um these are amazing and there are so many parameters that you can change inside of here to get the get a very unique sound so that those are dope primer i like primer it, it's uh i haven't played with it that much a lot of the sounds in it i feel like i've heard before um it was a free app this is a free app, so if you're looking to uh, hurry up and get started with, uh, you know, some some free audio, audio unit plugins, then this would be a nice uh, this would be a nice uh, plugin to start with. I have no idea how to pronounce these uh, these next <laughs> these next couple of uh, plugins, so I'll just zoom in on the name. Um, but these are by Clev Grand. And Clev Grand has some amazing sounds. Um, these are all some some really dope sounds. Um, so if you want to check these out, and the visuals on how you how you uh, manipulate these are, are crazy too. It's, this is really uh, intuitive and re really easy to get started and, and and start getting some inspirational sounds by just you know touching the. Um, these modulators and stuff like that so they also have a, a bunch of different presets as well with your categories on the side so this one is really unique because just just the look of it is is really unique uh, like I said, really easy, really simple to uh, just start jumping in and, and creating a different sound for yourself. And these are really good.
So those are by Clev Grand. They have some really nice pads, some really nice leads, really nice everything actually. They're just really, I use these a lot, so. Especially like for like my R&B uh, tracks, I use these uh, pads in here a lot, a lot. And I just usually um, add some very light effects to it. I actually bought those, all four of these in a, in a bundle. Uh, this one, this one, this one, and the uh, pads um, by Clev Grant. Basilicious by Gospel Musicians. These are my go-to bases from now on. Uh, I just downloaded. I just downloaded this maybe maybe three weeks ago as well, along with the Neo Soul keys. These have some really deep, punchy bases. That's some really nice stuff. So Lo-Fi Dirt. Again, by our family over there at you know MSX Sounds, MSX Audio. This is a really dope plugin to have if you're doing like hip hop drums, or if you just like to have your stuff stand out in a, a gritty way. Um, you need a little bit more kick, you lit, lit, a little bit more punch. This is the this is the audio unit plugin to have for that. Digital D1. Now this is uh, starting to become one of my favorite um, plugins. I just wish that they would hurry up and give us the audio unit plugin extension for it because it's so dope. You have some really dope lush pads in here, some really nice uh, smooth synths, um, great leads tons and tons and tons of categories to go through you got sounds by my guy uh hack attack um yoka pot um over there at hack, hack attack and since i'm getting into more like a, a cinematic um uh, vibe i like to use these because they are um, some really good uh, synthesizers and uh, pad sounds for like a cinematic sound. Reason Compact, I just downloaded this maybe actually the day before um, the day before Thanksgiving I downloaded this and I actually like it. Um, I, I haven't used Reason in about maybe five years but this is a I really like this one because it, it's uh, it's a lot of ten attention to detail when it comes to sound design inside of this too. Um, you can actually, um, right now, they have uh, other preset sound packs. Um, and right now I think they're all like just under a dollar. So yeah, you should probably go check that out too. This is a dope app for getting some ideas out too. And you can record your ideas and There's tons of tutorials on how to uh, manipulate these uh, these envelopes and these uh, these sound effects and uh, you know the low frequency oscillators and stuff like that. These are these are dope. It's, this is one of my favorite apps uh, that I've downloaded recently. And then you have the Seaboard app. Um, I haven't played with this too much because I have the Rolling Noise app. Audio Share. If you have iOS and you don't have Audio Share. You're doing uh, yourself a disservice when it comes to file management. iOS uh, doesn't really support, you know, file management that well yet. Um, so something like Audio Share is one of the, your best bets to have for um, organizing your sounds, your your you know your sound kits and your um, zip files as far as importing into your DAWs, um, sound kit libraries and stuff like that. You can actually um, send your files very easily and organize them by name, by date, audio copy engine. So you can copy and paste audio files in, from this into your um, into your other apps as well. And you can send your audio samples or your audio files straight from your iPad to somebody's email account or you know, you can share it to your Dropbox or your, you know, whatever cloud service that you use. 
uh, as well as your um, DAWs and your editing software. You can share it direct. Audio Share is jam packed with tons and tons of features when it comes to organizing your audio um, audio files inside of iOS. So that's definitely a must have. The Blocks Wave app is pretty dope. If you haven't already checked out some of my older videos, I've done videos on my uh, favorite two free apps to use when uh, making beats on iOS. So go ahead and check those out. I'll link those down in the description too. And then I have Luma Fusion by Luma Touch. Um, this is what I use to edit all of my videos. Um, this is like Final Cut but for <laughs> Final Cut Pro but for, for the uh, iOS for the iPad or your iPhone it's a pretty dope app for um, editing video and um, exporting to YouTube so that's pretty much it you guys that's pretty much what's on my iPad as of November 2018 let me know in the comments if you guys have uh, some of these apps already or if this is this is what you guys are using too also let me know in the comments if you got some recommendations of some apps that I need to check out I'd love to hear what you guys are using too once again thanks for rocking with the channel if you haven't subscribed already and if you're into tech and you love music and you like to hear ways of improving your workflow and upgrading your workflow as far as music production go ahead and hit that subscribe button I'll be here every week giving you tips and tricks on how to improve your workflow this is your boy Brandon Rico signing out this has been what's on my iPad see y'all next week